and this thing is sort of like a super Vectrix. It goes up to 75 miles an hour and is supposedly available the first quarter of next year from EDC, Electric Vehicle Company, Boulder, Colorado. I always like to get a picture of the press. Press never looks so good. I'd like to get a picture of this lady. This is this is this is a prime way to sell motorcycles. Okay, so um, tell me a little bit about uh, the Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix Motor Cars has been around since 2001. We're in the last stages of completing our certification. For the vehicle um, it's, a, it's a real vehicle uh, that differentiates itself from really the electric vehicle market. Unlike uh, you know, small golf carts or, or smaller conversions that you comfortable to ride in or prohibit you uh, in range or distance or speeds. Phoenix Motor Cars vehicle really eliminates and addresses all those concerns by providing a mid-size pickup truck and in addition to a mid-size SUV that'll be available for deliveries first quarter of next year. Uh, Characteristic-wise, it's important to note that the Phoenix Motor Cars is focused on a vehicle that you can sit into comfortably and be able to cruise on the freeway at 95 miles an hour, be able to go a distance of 130 miles plus per charge at a cost of about three dollars. This is the Phoenix with the UQM uh, permanent magnet drive. They're going to be using Altair Nano batteries. And we see this is probably the unique mobility unit here, and I suppose that's the motor way underneath there. Okay, the, the questions they didn't ask, uh, the interviewer didn't ask, uh, the unique mobility people, is first of all what kind of a motor it is it's a it's a permanent magnet uh, uh, three-phase brushless motor similar to what uh, the Japanese use the uh, Honda and, and Toyota use so it's it's very reliable and it's it's uh, it's a good motor it's the controller is less complicated than the AC propulsion unit the Altair Nano batteries uh, there are designed to be recharged it can be recharged in 10 minutes fast charging so these cars qualify for the gold credits, 10 gold credits as Type 3 ZEVs for the Gear Resources Board. Because they can be released in the 2008 model year, they're eligible for early release ZEV gold credits of up to you know, 40 ZEV gold credits for each car. Now the, the cars themselves are not going to be available at first at least for sale to the public. The uh, motor unit from UQM, unique mo formerly Unique Mobility, uh, it costs something like $35,000. The batteries cost about $2 a watt, $2,000 a kilowatt hour is the price I was given. So about seventy dollars or $80,000 for the batteries. Uh, so the, the total cost of the car is somewhere over $100,000. And they're going to be selling it for you know for less than that 40,000 to these fleets so it'll be fleets that will get it but they will get these gold Zev credits which uh, can be sold either to automakers or possibly converted uh, into other uh, carbon trading credits so that is part of their business plan as they explained uh, to the Air Resources Board in San Diego uh, at, at in response to a question by Barbara Rorden who asked particularly you know is this part of your business plan and they explained yes so th these questions were not asked by this interviewer.